Hello everybody and welcome to another video with me, a little Pink And today I'm gonna show you guys 7 Photoshop styles that you can do on Photoshop Okay, so you might think, Rachel, this, th they look the same No, they don't, they, they don't Um, these are the kind of styles that I've been loving recently And usually they're transparent or half transparent They're different, guys They're different So this is the first one and it's kind of a subtle neon and next we have this one it's a plain transparent text which is really cool next we have a more neon neon style the first one is a little more so subtle as you can see but if you put it on if you look at this one it's like whoa so bright so next we have this embossed style and then next we have a transparent gradient style and next we have this gradient style that is really simple but works with blends and wallpapers a lot and next we have this shiny sort of style and lastly we have this emboss you can't really tell okay so let's start off with the first style which is the subtle neon color so we're gonna go right click blending options stroke and then you could go with the white stroke or a lighter version okay so it's the positions should be in center it depends on how big the text is really next you're gonna go to inner glow what i did is i go went here and selected a green color really bright i'm gonna copy the hex code right over here click ok it's usually on screen i don't change it so what i do is just raise the size usually it's a 9 to 9 to 9 10 11 12 pixels and next we're gonna go to outer glow click check you're gonna select this again i'm gonna paste the hex code that we copied earlier click ok i put the size around 16 to 20 so that's how you create a simple neon style that could easily be seen in darker backgrounds okay so next we have this transparent one and we're gonna go right click blending options you're gonna go to blending options custom this at the very top and the opacity will be a 100% and the fill opacity will be a 2 a 10 to 15 so that it will be transparent but not really transparent so next you're gonna go to bevel and emboss okay so the original depth was 100 you're gonna move the depth to 300 aa and the size the default one is 5 but you could go with 4 and then the angle put it at 90 it was originally right over here which does not look good you're gonna put the highlight mode on overlay so that it will be softer and and move the opacity up to 80% and in the shadow mode just remove the opacity to 0% always check use global light alright so for the drop shadow you're gonna move you're gonna put your blending mode to normal your opacity to 33% uncheck use global light move the distance to 1 pixels put the spread in 0% and the size will be at 4 pixels so that it will be really subtle for the third style we have this really bright neon color you're gonna go right click blending options and for the blending mode put the fill opacity at zero percent for the stroke i put it in a nice bluish gray color and put the stroke at again three pixels and the position is in right now it looks best outside okay so for the inner glow you're gonna raise the opacity up to 100 percent choose your choose your own color and then you're gonna click here choose the color that you wanted you can put it higher or maybe go darker so it would be seen raise the choke to five percent and the size to 10 pixels so that's all that i changed in inner glow so next Next we have outer glow we ra again raise the opacity up a 100% change the color and then you're gonna go change the technique to from softer to precise the spread would be at 15% the size would be at 15 pixels and that makes it more seen that makes sense blend mode would be always on normal the inner glow as well the blend mode would be a normal and that's basically what you do you have your bright neon color neon for the fourth one we have this engraved kind of effect so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna go to blending options to the custom blending options and you're gonna go to the fill opacity and put it at 25 percent right over there go to bevel and emboss it will be on outer bevel 
The style will be outer bevel, the technique will be on chisel hard, and the depth will be at 100%. The direction would be down, so the size will be at 4 pixels, and the soften will be at 4 pixels as well. And for the shading, we're gonna go for, to 90 degrees again, and then check global light, so the altitude will be at 26 degrees. I think that's all that I changed in there. For the inner shadow, I have the blend mode on multiply, the opacity will be at 85%. The angle will stay at 90 degrees and the global light will still be checked. The distance will be at 4 pixels, choke will be on 15 degrees, and the size will be at 8 pixels. So next we have the color overlay and I just put a black color in there. If you put it in red, you can see that. The black gives it an engraved kind of look. So the opacity will be at 21%, 20 to 25%, you could put it around that. And the blend mode would stay at normal. Alright, so next we have this transparent fading gradient kind of looking style and you're gonna go right click blending options okay so at the custom blending options the blend will, will remain at normal the opacity will be up at 100% in the advanced blending fill opacity it will be at 0% so the bevel and emboss the size would be at 0 pixels the soften will be at 0 pixels and you're gonna uncheck use global light and then put it put the angle on 90 degrees and the altitude will remain at 30 degrees and in the highlight mode you're gonna put it on overlay and face the opacity at 80% and you're not gonna change the shadow mode and just drag the opacity of the shadow mode at 0% next we're gonna go to gradient overlay and this is where the magic happens okay so you're gonna lower the opacity at 54% I'm gonna double click this the gradient type will be at solid the smoothness is at 100% on the upper left corner right over here I have the opacity at 60 and the location at 0%. In the lower left, we have the color of black and location at 0%. On the upper right side, we have the opacity again at 0% and the location would be at 100%. At the lower right, we have color of black and the location of 100%. So what it does, it gives us a transparent gradient for the drop shadow. It will remain at normal, the opacity will be lowered at 33%, the angle will be at 90%, and 90 degrees the distance will be a one pixel spread will be a zero percent the size will be at four pixels next we have the simple pink style with gradient inside it and this is really good for blends and wallpapers which i haven't done in a while so you're gonna go right click blending options you're gonna go to gradient overlay and then you're gonna double click this okay as you can see i have a lot of gradient presets and you can just select any of those i didn't change the top the top stops i only changed the bottom i'm gonna getting a really light blue color i'm going to go to the next stop the darker stop i'm gonna i'm gonna select the blue that we selected earlier i'm just gonna go a, a bit darker but not that far away from the color so it has a gradient effect but it's not too too gradient ish thing and then you're gonna go to drop shadow the blend mode would be a multiply the shadow will be black and again the angle would be at 90 degrees i've been loving 90 degree angles lately and for the opacity it will be as slow as 15 percent the distance would be a three pixel spread zero percent and size would be at three pixels and i'm gonna click okay okay so for the next one we have this really glossy and if i'm not mistaken i use a pattern for this one so we're gonna go right click blending options for bevel and emboss, the style will be at inner bevel, technique will be at smooth, the depth would be at 1000%. One, this is the strength of the shading, direction will be up, the size will be at 0 pixels, and soften will be at 0 pixels. Again, the angle will be at 90 degrees, and the altitude would be at 30 degrees. Now, for the highlight mode right over here, you're gonna select screen and lower the opacity at 40%. For the shadow mode, you're gonna select normal and put it at 90, de 90, de <laughs> 90 de degrees. So, next, we're gonna go to inner shadows. For the inner shadow, we selected a white inner shadow and put it at normal and put the opacity at 42 degrees. The blend mode would be at normal. Next, we have the inner shadow and the blend mode would go at normal. The shadow will be white. The opacity will be at 42%. The angle would be at 90 degrees. And the distance would be at 0 pixels. The choke would be at 0%. And the size would be at 1 pixel. For the gradient overlay, you're gonna go to the blend mode. And the blend mode would be at normal. The opacity would be at 100% right over here. The gradient is really subtle. 
we have the opacity of 4% location 0 at the top right here and at the bottom right here we have the color white location at 0% at the middle we have a gray color opacity at 8% location at 50% up here we have the opacity at 35% and location at 100% and at the bottom right here we have color white and the location at 100% and again we use a pattern for this that's why it's glossy okay so as you can see I'm putting different patterns right here and it is is still glossy it's so pretty definitely works best at flat in the pattern overlay you're just gonna select your pattern there's nothing change in there and for the drop shadow the blend mode will be at normal the opacity will be at 40 percent the angle would stay at 90 degrees if you change the angle here it will change everywhere and okay so we have the distance at one pixels the spread would be at zero percent and the size would be at three pixels and that's basically what it is it's so Cool. And the last one in the eighth one is a sort of fluffy kind of style. It's not it's fluffy but not that fluffy. We're gonna go to bevel and emboss. Again, the style would be an inner bevel, technique at smooth, the depth would be at 93%, the direction will be at up, the size would be at 21 pixels, the soften would be at 16 pixels, and then down here the angle would be at one degree, 100 degrees, and the altitude would be at 75 degrees. I didn't change the highlight mode. Okay, so for the stroke is just a one pixel and then select it outside you could remove it if you want to you can remove the stroke if you want to so for the color overlay whatever color you choose it will be embossed and this is really good if you want your text to pop out especially if there's a lot going on in the background okay so that's basically how you create this my favorite styles and I want to say they're minimalist, but I, I don't know. What do I know? If you want Photoshop resources like brush, textures, patterns, I have them all in a video. I have a pack for it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video and subscribe for more videos every Friday. Yeah, go check out my blog. Blog with a letter B will be linked in the description box and it will also appear on your screen. So thank you and goodbye.